Hey guys, welcome back to Clever News. I'm Katie Krause, joined by, of course, the oh so lovely Deidre oh, Behar. Thanks, hi guys. And today, all of you 90210 fans are going to be stoked because we have Riley Smith in studio with us. And uh, let's jump right into it. We saw your character for the first time this week. Uh -huh. You're a little feisty. Yeah. <laughs> well, when they um, when they designed the character, they they wanted him to be kind of like a uh, house, Doctor House MD. And so snarky dude. Yeah, that's what they wanted. And so they told me to go and um, and you know rent the, the past uh, seasons and watch it. So I studied him a lot. You and Annie have this kind of weird connection so far, and I'm hearing that there's more of that. So kind of. Tease that, and do you guys have a nickname yet? Uh, yeah, somebody called us, uh, I don't know how they pronounce it, <laughs> Ra uh, Ra Rainy? Rainy, yeah. I like Team that. Team Rainy is what I've been seeing. <laughs> okay, uh, not, so to, be, that's not to be confused with Leanne. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Cute. I know, well, I read those all the time. Um, People like them. I don't know what I can say and what I can't say, but we, uh, you know, the very first episode that everyone's already seen, it's, um, Obviously, we're not getting along right away, but sometimes in those relationships in real life, that's kind of what sparks a, you know, a it's connection. A thin line between love and hate. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it, uh, it's going to be a while, but I think things might uh, progress. Well, you were talking a little bit about your meeting with the producers mm -hmm. um, before signing on to the role. So kind of finish that story. Okay, uh, well they, they, the, the producers um, who are the best bosses in the world, they came to me uh, in the summer and they said that they, they had a role. Actually, I didn't know why they wanted to meet me. This is the funniest part about it. I just knew I had a general with them in their offices. So I showed up and they were like, well, do you know why you're here? And I said, I think Ashton's gonna pop out and I'm gonna be punked because I really don't know what's going on. And they're like, oh, nobody told you. We, um, we wrote a role for you this year. And um, right now his working title, his name is Riley, um, because we wrote How it for you. Perfect. And yeah, that was, they were like, do you mind if we keep it that? Because we've got that vision in our head now. And I was like, yeah, that seems kind of fun. I don't think I've ever done that before, like play my own name. Mm -hmm. And it's easier for the crew and the other cast members to, to know my name right away. Right. Just answer to Riley. So, uh, but they, yeah, they, they told me that they wrote this role and they had a story arc for the season for it. and. Um, and then I, I was excited and then nervous because you don't know what it's going to be, but you know you want to say yes. And, um, and, and then they told me this whole story about this, uh, this paraplegic kid, Riley, in a wheelchair. And um, uh, I just thought that was the coolest idea that, you know, if I'm going to do the show, uh, be somebody different, somebody that's got a, you know, a different side to them than, than the other characters that are already there. And it's not some, your generic heartthrob. No, <laughs> no, not at all. And you know, I've done that before, and I've played a lot of other types of roles, but I've never played a, a you know a guy in a, a wheelchair. Kind of talk to us about Dixon's storyline coming up, and what can you tell us about that? God, I wish I, I knew what I can say and what I can say. Um, Just say all of it. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then get fired. No, I'm don't kidding. do that. Don't do that. <laughs> if you um, do, we'll rally for you. Okay, okay, so, yeah. No worries. Um, Dixon, you know, this season is obviously going through a lot of physical therapy, coming back from the accident. Accident. And that's that's basically my tie-in to the to the show. The, my side of the storyline is uh, that I befriend Dixon. Um, although in the first episode it didn't look. You like were very it so nice much. to him. No, but you know, I mean, I think the, what I like about the character, my character, is that is that, uh, and this is what uh, Laurie and Patty or Laura and Patty said, the, the producers and the writers, when they pitched the show, they they said, you know, you're not always going to like what he has to say, but what he has to say is true, and you can't deny that. You know, my approach to helping him isn't always easy, but it, it is the most effective based on my prior experiences. Tough love. Paraplegic, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to help him as much as I can to uh, get better as fast as possible. Um, I don't want to give away what, if it happens or when it happens, but okay, you know, okay. it's going to be a, a, a long struggle for him to uh, gain back all the strength to, to be normal again. And then I think that transcends into his relationships as well. So I can say that. Um, and so him and Adriana? Uh, him and Aid. Um, you know, that's gonna play out throughout the year. Um, what about this new guy? He's up to no good. Who's the, which new guy? There's like there's like five. He's he likes Adriana and they have uh, a thing Wes. in the Yes. I love Wes. Wes and I hit it off. Um, 
Wes is he's great on the show. He's uh, he's a troublemaker. He's a little bit of a troublemaker, but he's so damn good looking. How are you gonna hate he's him? He's very huh? attractive, he's but that really, doesn't mean he's nice. You know, I know him off the camera. I'd never seen him act before, and um, he's kind of he's from Louisiana, and he's this good old Southern boy. So it was weird to see him be kind of uh, it was weird to see him be kind of conniving with you know what's right. going on in, in his storyline. But he's doing it well. Um, so what's gonna happen with him? Uh, I don't know does, he, does he come in between Aid and Dixon? Uh, Maybe. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. So he throws a wrench in the middle of that. Maybe for a time being. Okay. I don't know. I can't, I can't give away. Yeah, Dixon's got a, yeah, he's got a lot up against him right now. I know? feel bad for him. This girl's double crossing him and he's in a wheelchair. And On, on the romance front for your character, um, how romantic are things going to get? Are there any fun scenes that you guys have maybe shot that you can tease a little bit about? Um, we've had a ton of fun scenes because, as you saw in the first episode, we go at each other. Mm -hmm. And then there'll be a lot of scenes where, you know, then the connection actually starts to, you see that take place. And, and so then that's more of a flirtatious. And then, and then they go back at each other. And as you know, with 90210, it's going to be like that for a while, mm -hmm. like the back and forth, the yo-yo. But we've had, we've had fun scenes. Um, there's one in particular that takes place in a swimming pool that was a lot of fun. What about Vanessa and Liam? Another uh, romance because now sh is she gone for good? <laughs> well, that People I can't are freaking say. out. Yeah, that I can't say. What a crazy ending to, to episode two, though, right? I mean, falling over she, the balcony. <laughs> we didn't get to see her more than. I, I mean, know. we see her fall. I People are stressed. I, I love her as a person, um, and he's a sweet guy too. I, I yeah, they. Um, that, uh, that I'm not gonna tell anybody because that would just give too much away. I mean, she's gone right now. She's She fell off a balcony and then she disappeared into the ocean, so, you know. Um, disappeared into the ocean. Yeah, <laughs> Very embarrassing. yeah so that's that's all I can say about that. All right, well, 90210 is no stranger to uh, good festive holiday episodes, uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So can you tell us about this? Uh, we just shot the Christmas episode, which is weird for us because it's 95 degrees out in LA. Right, right now. you're like sweating. <laughs> yeah, you're like literally being bundled up. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, that was a lot of fun because I love I love Christmas and uh, so to walk in the soundstage and it was cold in there and it, it it's, was there snow? Yeah, they completely decorated with uh, fake snow and the Christmas tree and we had like an uh, exchanging of gifts with you know our loved ones on the show and and that was it was awesome because it got me wanting this warm weather to go way um, and uh, you know what's going on with the Christmas episode the Christmas episode actually there's a lot of big changes that are gonna happen that, I, that I know of um, <laughs> things are you know things are gonna change uh, dramatically for for Annie and Riley and, and Dixon and that dynamic will change after that episode um, and then uh, what else um, other storylines I don't know there's a lot of great uh, musical entertainment um, in every That's right. episode. And the 100th episode is coming up with yeah. Denise Richards, Carmen Electra. You have Ryan Lochte's episode yeah. coming up. We have guest stars every week that are awesome. I mean, for me, it's uh, it's fun because it's like going to a concert every week. You right. know, like Nelly Furtado, I remember, was was one that was a lot of fun to see. And um, they had Tao Cruz and uh, Carly Rae Jepsen. Carly Rae, yeah. Um, there's been every every week there's somebody new yeah. so it's, it's a lot of fun to go and watch them perform well outside of 90210 kind of talk to us you've a musical career you're working on music yeah I, I sing it's always been something that I've done as a passion project just um, as a hobby it started off with me writing in my journal as like just journal entries and then I turned them into, into songs and um, and then I decided uh, that maybe they would fit in some of the projects that I do you know a little cross promotion with that and sing on 90210. Yeah, I don't. I don't even think they know that I sing. So a lot of people don't. It's kind of no, a quiet. They do. Yeah, they've seen this interview. It's kind of a quiet hobby. So I formed a band um, with like three of my best friends who are really great musicians, and uh, we call ourselves the Life of Riley. It's not rock and roll, but it's you know. Okay. It, it's, what kind it's, of music is it? It's it's um, um it's emo singer songwriter. You know, it's emotional. Oh, that's acoustic. our favorite. It is. Yeah. yeah. I like my favorite is a stand up bass, some uh, some bongos, cajones, and. Uh, acoustic guitars and just we'll, love it we'll have to check out a show next time you play yeah hotel cafe i'll have you guys love come it. On. yeah last question uh -huh. guess which role you were in that we're really big fans of <laughs> Uh, how, um, I shouldn't, I'm not gonna ask that. Uh, I was gonna ask how old you are, because I always know based on how old people, people are. 
I know what show it is. Just like, take one guess. It's, a mo it's more of a movie. It's more of a movie. Yeah, I would say Motocross on Disney or New York Minute with the Olsen Twins. That's definitely Disney. Motocross. Yes. There, I know and my demographic, right? Yes. Are you aware that currently <laughs> yeah, those I'm VHS blushing. tapes? I'm, I'm blushing right now. We, uh, Lisa and Lily here did some great extensive research oh, and no. found that the VHS tapes are going for 80 bucks. You Are you cannot, kidding It's me. not on DVD, so if you want to purchase it on VHS, it's going to cost you I hope you're getting penny. a cut of that. <laughs> it's funny that, yeah, it's funny that you say that royalties. because yeah. my sister who lives in Iowa has, uh, uh, somebody she works with has a little daughter who's a big fan and of the sh of that, and so she said, "Can you get one and sign it for her?" And I was like, "I can't find a, a DVD anywhere of it." They're on Amazon um, for eight I don't, bucks. I don't even own a DVD or VHS of it. I haven't seen it oh. probably in seven years. Well, so we're gonna have a holiday a gift to him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get two. I'll sign one for you guys, and then Great. I'll keep the Great. other one for I don't know why, but for yourself. Yeah, that the movie moment, has so. been that movie has been the uh, double-edged sword of my life, and it's not in a bad way. Um, but it, I feel like out of the 60 some projects I've done, you know, in that my career, it's the only one, one people recognize me for. And I mean, well, because it was awesome. <laughs> obviously, that's why we know oh it. Oh my God. I didn't even know what I was getting into when I did that. But so if Disney that's approached you to do a reunion, you're in or a remake. Well, it's funny you say that. Speaking of the holidays, um, my friends have been begging me to reprise the role for Halloween, and I have the entire outfit. I still Done. have it. They uh, let you keep it? Done. Yeah, I have the whole thing, top to bottom. The whole, and it still has like the stains on it from Done. falling. So I think this year for Halloween, I might go as Dean Talon. Um, and, you I think know. you have to at this point. Yeah, I just need you to find can't. a good party to take it to. And, and, then, and then it was funny because my friends are like, look, either you people are gonna be confused or you're really gonna trip people out. Like you imagine people are drinking at a Halloween party. Yeah, like, I would be Disney like, is that yeah. guy? And then yeah. they, see the, they see the guy and uh, they'd be really confused. But I think it'd be fun. It, it's all tongue in cheek, so. Will you guys send me an invite to your party and Dean Talon will show up? How about that? Shake on it. Done. Yeah, I'm done, I'm serious. Done, done. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming. Thanks. And uh, everyone, make sure you tune in to 90210 every single Monday at eight o'clock on The CW. Yo. Thanks. Yay. Bye. Bye.